Hey everybody, it's Chris from Cali Raised, and today we're going to be installing our ditch brackets on the 2022 and newer Toyota Tundra. Included in your kit is the ditch brackets themselves. If you bought the combo, you also get your pods and your wiring harness. And our wiring harness is great because it is pre-wired for the new 2022 OEM switch. To get started today, we're going to take our pods, install our mounting brackets, and get them bolted on to the ditch brackets themselves. After we take our pods out of the box, you've got this nice bag of hardware. We're gonna open it up. You're only gonna need a couple things out of here. You're gonna need your brackets. In addition to the brackets is this bag of hardware. To install these today, you're gonna need all four of the longer Allen bolts and all four of the matching nuts. Everything else you can set aside. When installing your brackets to your pods, you have two options. If you install the bracket pointing forward, your pod will sit up higher. If you turn the bracket around and install it pointing backwards, your pod will sit down much lower. Pick the height you want and let's put in the hardware. I'm gonna rotate this bracket backwards a little bit. I'm gonna take my nuts and I'm gonna insert them into the grooves in the pod. With the nuts in, I'm gonna take my bolt and insert it through the side and thread it in. Get both bolts started before tightening these down. With the bolts started, we're gonna go ahead and tighten our bracket down snug in this neutral position. And then we're gonna tighten it all the way down later after everything's aimed and installed. Do this for both light pods. With the brackets on both our pods, we now need to check the side shooters if you have side shooters and make sure you match the outside lenses with the proper bracket. This is our passenger side bracket with our side shooting lens pointing the correct direction. Same with our drivers. Now we can take our bolts and bolt the pods to the brackets. Push your bolt through the bracket from the back side, put it through the hole in the ditch bracket Install your lock nut. Using two half inch wrenches, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this down snug, but not all the way, so we can adjust it later. With our lights on our brackets, we're ready to put them on the truck. We're gonna start on the driver's side today. On the driver's side only is this little rubber hose, and there's a little clip right here. You can pop this guy loose and move it out of your way if you would like. Both of these bolts are 12 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and start with the front one and remove it. With the front bolt removed, we can now rotate our bracket in place and put it back in hand tight. I have my ditch bracket at an angle here I got my first bolt started. Now I'm going to take my back bolt out, pivot the mount in place, and get that one in hand tight. With my bolt removed, pivot my mount down in place, reinstall my bolt. With both my bolts in, I'm going to check my hood alignment, and then I'm going to tighten them back down. With my bolts tight, I'm going to go ahead and put my hose back in. We're gonna do this same set on the other side, step by step. Here we go on the passenger side, doing the same thing as before. With both our pods and brackets in place, we can now start to move on to wiring. Included in your ditch light kit is the following three items the new OEM switch for the 2022 and newer Tundra. There is a switch extension harness, a standard dual leg harness. To get familiar with this and get ready for our installation, I'm gonna show you a couple key features here. Black and red for your terminals on your battery. I suggest removing the fuse when you're doing your installation just to prevent any issues or sparking that could break the fuse or cause a bigger problem. 
This is your relay. Make sure it's mounted in a safe, dry place the best that you can. These things are mechanical and can break if they're not secure. Moving down the harness, we have our two legs, which will connect to our pods. And we have the switch that comes with it. And this is what the extension harness is gonna replace. Simply remove it and toss it. Plug in your new harness extension. And we're now ready to put this in the truck. We're gonna go ahead and start with our positive terminal. We're gonna remove the cover here. Using a 12 millimeter wrench, we're gonna loosen this nut, remove it. We are gonna take the ring on our red wire, slide it over, put our nut back in place. If you wanna get real tidy, you can go up through the bottom of the cover so that it routes out with your factory cable. This wire secure, I'm now gonna put my cover back on and we are gonna move over to our ground wire and do the same on our negative. With our two terminals connected, we still have our relay here. I'm now gonna take my first end of my dual leg and I am going to route the wire from my pod I like to pull it right here real close to the hood bracket and bring it on down. And we're gonna connect by simply pushing the connector in until the click pops and we're in place nice and tight. With this wire hooked up, we're gonna set the excess aside for now. And we're gonna move our other DT and our switch over to the other side of the hood. Like we did on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and take the lead from our pod, route it in a nice clean manner into the engine bay and plug in our DT connector. Wait for that click. There it goes again, nice and tight. Set this out of the way. The last thing we have is the lead for our switch. This needs to go into the cab over here on the driver's side where all your OEM switch blanks are. If you look here, you've got your master cylinder and your brake booster right here. This is your ABS. Down back here against the firewall is a rubber boot. It has a little cable going through it. And this is where you can push the wire through into the cab. Some people like to cut a hole in this and push the wire through the rubber boot. Some people like to push it out of the way and have it go through the top. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. Do what you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with either, there's also a lot of aftermarket bushings that you can buy to put in place and secure this. Wiring is definitely one of those things that needs to be done by an experienced professional. So do what you guys think is best in this situation. I'm gonna go ahead and get this routed into the cab so we can plug in our switch and do a wiring check before we tidy up all these wires. With our harness pulled through the firewall, we're now gonna route it up in place into the OEM switch location. We've already removed the blank from this one. It's simple squeeze clips from the side. Using a trim tool and applying some pressure, you can pop this right out. Something to note is that some of these blanks actually have harnesses in the back pre-wired from Toyota for specific accessories or trim packages. In our case, this one and this one are both filled with harnesses, but right here there's nothing. So we popped this one out and that's where we're gonna install our switch. I have a piece of welding rod here. You can use a coat hanger or anything, but it's pretty tight under here to reach under. So having something like this to help really makes a big difference. I'm gonna push it through hook my harness very carefully and slowly move it back up into position. Now I'm gonna install my OEM switch onto my pigtail, noting the clip here and the clip here, making sure that I install it in the correct direction. A nice clicking sound lets you know you're good. Orient your switch correctly and pop it on in there. We're gonna go put our fuse into our wiring harness now test functionality, and then tidy up all of our wires. With our function check complete and our lights on, now is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and aim our light pods. 
depending on what other auxiliary lighting you have, is going to determine how you want to aim them. If you don't have any lighting on the front, I like to point them straight ahead, get some good forward lighting, the side shooters fill all the gaps in between. Once we get our lights pointed where we want them, we're going to go ahead and tighten our lights to the light brackets and then tighten the light brackets to the ditch mounts. Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and finish tidying up all our wiring and call it a day. We've got all of our wires tidied up under the hood now. The enemy to your wires is free movement, hot things, stuff like that. So keep your wires tight, keep them zip tied up out of the way. Don't let anything flop around. Once you got it all tidied up, this thing is good to go. Thanks for joining us today. Please check out CaliRaisedLED.com for all of your off-road accessory needs.